Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and today we're going to be doing another catch and cook and we're going to be doing a catch and cook that I've been wanting to do for a very very long time. We're going to be doing a catch and cook on a squirrel fish. I know some of you are going huh probably never even heard of a squirrel fish before probably never seen one and if you have heard of it you know this is not a fish you want to play around with. This fish can be dangerous. This fish can cut you very badly. It can send you to the ER and you get stitches. I mean, this thing, everything on it's sharp. Everything on it is needle sharp, razor blade sharp. Even the scales are sharp on this fish. So if you don't handle this fish with some care, you can get messed up. You'll notice in the video, in the video clip, Corio picks it up with a uh, pair of pliers in the mouth. You notice how I handle it in the video. This is a fish to take very seriously, but we're gonna find out if it's good or not. I've heard of people eating it and I have memories of me eating some when I was younger, back when we actually used to keep everything when I was growing up fishing on the head boats. But as I grew up and became an adult, whenever we would catch one on a head boat or catch one on a charter trip, we would cut the line or throw it back. We would never put it in the box. We would never touch it. So we're gonna find out today if it's actually good to eat or not. I think it is. I think I remember them being good, but we'll find out today. So guys, check out this clip of Captain Corey on On The Hook Charters. I'll put a link up here to a couple of videos that we've done so you guys can check out, you know, the whole video with the uh, squirrel fish was caught. We'll also have a shark video coming out here pretty soon. So you can check that out. And it's awesome, guys. I mean, we just had an awesome trip. Well, check out this clip of Captain Corey catching this squirrel fish. And you see how excited I was when he got it because I've always been wanting to do a catch and cook. And then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table and then in the kitchen, y'all. <laughs> hooked up summer's hooked up turn it turn it turn it summer turn it yeah turn it summer turn it oh squirrel fish i will take him i want to do a catch a cook on a squirrel fish so bad all right i'm coming to help her here i'll take care of the squirrel fish All right, guys, we got our squirrel fish here, and I'm going to give you guys a warning right now with this fish. If you ever catch one, do not handle them with bare hands, wear gloves, use a towel, use pliers, use something, because everything on this fish will get you. Everything in here is razor sharp. All these fins are like needles, and they will poke the crap out of you. Even their scales are razor sharp. The scales itself will cut you. Everything on this fish is dangerous. It's not poisonous, but it will cut the crap out of you. The nickname we always used to call this fish when we we're fishing the head boats and everything on charter boats, we always called call this the razor fish because it will cut you. So I don't catch them very often because I don't go out as far as where you'll find these guys. But on this recent trip I did with on the hook charters, we were out deep enough that we caught this one. So I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it. All right guys, what I do is I take my finger and I stick it right here on the eye a little bit and my thumb underneath the little jaw here because it's nothing there and then you're going to clean it just like you would any other fish come in and try your best not to poke yourself with those fins right there and go sideways here and you're going to go down come in here once i made that incision and grab a hold Rib cage is a little tough. There you go. All righty. We got a nice little fillet here. All right, I got my two little squirrel fish fillets here. So I'm gonna go in just like any other fish and fillet it out. There you go. Come in here with this rib cage. Cut that out. 
and they will have a little bit of pin bones right here. Actually, not bad though. There you go. And there you go, guys. There's a really nice looking squirrel fish fillet. All righty, well, we're in the kitchen now. Here's my two squirrel fish fillets. And I am actually really excited about this because I don't I haven't seen any other videos on squirrel fish. So I don't know if I'm the first or the only one. I have no idea. There might be some out there. I just haven't seen them. But we're going to try it out today. I'm just going to put a little bit of black and red fish magic on here. Not a whole lot. Just a little bit. Because I don't want to mask the flavor of the fish. Try not to put a whole lot on there. All right. All right, about like that. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to heat up a non-stick pan. No butter, no oil, just a non-stick pan. Get it up to temperature, and we're just going to sear these fillets, you know, on both sides. And that's it. Really simple. I just want to see the taste of the fish, get an idea how it tastes, because I think I've eaten one, but it's been so long ago, I can't remember. But uh, I do kind of have an idea that we did eat some back in the day. But we're going to try one out now, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think our pan is nice and hot, so we're just going to go ahead and... Oh yeah, that's what you want right there. That sizzle. Alright, we're going to cook it for about a minute, minute and a half on each side. And it should be good. And listen to that sizzle. I wish this was smell vision That smells awesome. Very simple. Very, very simple. Alright, let's flip these over. Hopefully we can flip them over without breaking them. There we go. Awesome. Man, that looks good. That looks really good. Okay, well I think they're done. They seem to be done. Alright, well there we go guys. That looks absolutely delicious. It smells pretty good too. Alright guys, I'll see you on the couch. Alright y'all, we're on the couch. Here's our fish. Kind of a tough textured fish. Actually, very tough texture. Kind of wasn't expecting that. Thought it would be a little bit softer. There you go. Nice flaky fish, actually. Very flaky. All right, so here we go, guys. Squirrel fish. Holy moly. that's very interesting that has a almost a lobster type texture but almost no flavor to be honest with you, as far as fish probably no flavor at all just what i put on it that little bit of a um, chef paul's black and redfish magic but as far as the fish flavor Really no flavor at all, but it has got a really good texture, a really good shellfish, lobster type texture to it. Hmm. That's very interesting. Very interesting. All right. I like it. No shock, I'm sure, to most of y'all. <laughs> very seldom I find a fish that I don't like. If I don't like it the first time, I usually cook it a different way and see if I like it better that way. But uh, that's actually pretty good. It was not what I expected. I thought it was going to be kind of soft, kind of like a lane snapper or a vermilion snapper. But it's not. It's very firm, very flaky. It's got a shellfish, really like a lobster type texture to it. But there is no flavor. Other than what I cooked it in. There's no flavor to it. It's a very bland, very, very mild fish. I'll keep them again if I catch them. I mean, I don't usually fish that deep. Hopefully here pretty soon we'll get a new boat. We'll be able to go out there a little bit farther and maybe catch some of these fish. But uh, that was awesome. I actually really liked it. I really liked it. I mean, I've heard some people say you can't eat them. You know, I know they're very dangerous to handle. They are. So if you guys are going out there and you catch one, 
they are dangerous to handle. Please be careful with them, especially when you're cleaning them, because they can cut you up. I mean, they can give you some stitches. You can go to the ER and get some stitches in your hand. No venom as far as I know, not poisonous as far as I know, but they will give you a heck of a stick, a heck of a poke. And it could get infected so just be very careful with this fish if you catch one and you feel adventurous and you want to eat it just be careful with it guys well thank you much for hanging out with me today and doing this catch and cook with me until i see you guys again here soon on the water tight lines jetty rockers thank you very much for watching hey jetty rockers thank you very much for watching this video i'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my facebook page at jetty rocks fishing and also my instagram page I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, JD Offers.